If I go into y'all's accounts and I find out that your whale lists are still in full existence, then you're gonna quit. You're both gonna end up in the trash. These boys, these boys want to get all rich. Start buying Porsches and big houses and gold necklaces and platinum teeth. <laughs> Bunch of freaking ballers over here. But they don't want to go whale hunting. They want to get whales, but they don't want to go whale hunting. I was just tell telling my Instagram audience that in order to go whale hunting, you gotta get on a boat. You have to leave the shore where it's safe and where your family's at and like where your comfort zone is so you can get on the boat and actually go get whales. You see whales, they're not on the shore. They're not on the shore, Carson. Those are up. The, yeah, there's no whales on the shore. Get over here, dude. Get in the, get in the frame, dude. I don't know why you're, why you're, why are you being so scared? You're definitely not in the frame right now. He's not in the frame, is he? I'm going whale hunting. He's going to whale hunting. But what I'm trying to tell you, Brandino, probably can't see you because it's so sunny. For once in Wisconsin, it's sunny. Dude, make a whale call right now. I know that you have whales in there. You want to bet me? How much cash you got on you? I spent my hundy. I got five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine dollars says you have a whale somewhere in your list over there. See, in order to go whale hunting, folks, you do have to get in a boat. You gotta leave where you're comfortable. And the boys over here, they wanna go whale hunting. And what I've learned about whale hunting is that it's really not that scary. All you're doing is calling another human being that just probably has more money than you. <laughs> they have a bigger company. Like literally, for those of you out there that wanna go whale hunting as a salesperson, you want the big accounts, the Fortune 500s, the Fortune 100s. Here's the scoop and here's the deal. The scary part about whale hunting is not actually getting in the boat and going out to go whale hunting. The best thing that could possibly happen to you while you're whale hunting is that a whale <laughs> capsizes your ship and you drown without actually getting a deal. The worst case scenario is that you do the whale hunting, you catch the whale and a year, two years, maybe even three years into chasing the whale down and almost reeling it back into shore, the deal goes away. The worst part about going whale hunting is spending a lot of time and not getting the deal. In fact, the worst thing about any sales process is spending a lot of time and then getting a no. I personally would rather call 500 whales on the Fortune 500 list and I would rather have the opportunity to pitch them and on pitch number one, be cursed out, cussed out, tossed out of an office, burnt alive, shot in the kneecap, have my fingernails pulled out with the pliers rather than spend two years pitching, demoing, meeting people, flying around, investing resources, investing time, and then finally having the deal just poof, disappear. So that's the deal, man. Don't be scared to pick up the phone and call a whale. The best thing that could happen is they slap you in the face right off the bat. The worst thing that could happen to you, Brandino, is you waste time pitching the whale and then the whale doesn't come back home and then you have to starve. So that's why, you know, you gotta have a full pipeline the whole way through. You have a full pipeline? Oh. It's definitely not full, dude. Full. We could pull up your pipeline right now and I'll show you what a full and not full pipeline literally looks like. Not this right cool. here is Brandon's pipeline. That's the beginning stage. This is where it's hot and where it's actually closed. Brandon, it looks to me like you're missing a huge chunk of people right around here. And right now at the end of the month, I would be focusing on this portion of the pipeline, the people that you're negotiating or following up with, so you can bring them into close. But guess what? In a couple of days, Brandon, you know what day it is? First of the month. It's going to be the first of the month, and then guess what? Who do you all have to call on? A bunch of white space. Another tip. 
is having a full pipeline doesn't mean just having a bunch of people that you've never talked to. I'm talking about actually having a ton of people that are ready to do a deal with you, a ton of people that you're presenting to, a ton of people that you're still cold calling on or trying to set an appointment with. You want the full deal full. And if you don't, then you're gonna be you're gonna be up a creek without a paddle and without a Porsche, gold teeth, and a gold chain, Brando. Brandon, get on the phones. I still got that nine dollars, dude, for you to prove me wrong. They're on they're all on tag. Let's go see what Carson is doing. Carson's my new sales guy. He's been here for about two weeks. He thinks he's gonna get a McLaren. I think he might be right. There's the McLaren he wants. What is that, the 720S? 720S. That's a beast right there. Look at it, it's beautiful. So here's the metrics that we actually have here at the office. I tell my guys, you either have to do 135 phone calls or three hours of total talk time. This allows me to control and keep them accountable for their actual effort. Then of course we have the golden metric. They're here to set me appointments so that I can demo other people on sales domination system. So what I've done is I've set this up. These guys can actually walk into the office and if they want to by 10 a.m. set me three appointments, they can be done for the day. Peace out, go to a Brewers game, hit the bar, go find some girls to talk to, whatever they wanna do. But unless they get that, then they have to stay and they've gotta do three hours of talk time or they've gotta do 135 phone calls in a day. And I'm gonna say this right now, and this is this is just a straight promo for Sales Domination System, is if your CRM does not track call time and phone calls, then what are you really doing? Are you really just asking your people to make 200 phone calls in a day? That's not what actually matters. What really matters is talk time. The amount of time that you've actually spent engaging in real sales activities, like actually talking to somebody, actually demoing a product. And so a lot of companies out there are just like, oh yeah, man, just make a bunch of phone calls and you know, that's, that's what we require out of our people. I don't. I require my people either to show me effort in the fact that you've tried to have quality conversations or, hey, I've only made 17 phone calls, but damn, I've had four hours of quality conversations with decision makers or influencers. So look, at the end of the day, Sales domination system keeps track of all of the that data so that me as a business owner and you as a business owner or manager, you can actually check in and actually keep your people accountable, not just for results, but for the effort that creates the results. Because how on earth could you ever actually uh, get your people to get results if they don't understand the effort that it takes to get the results? It'd be like a personal trainer telling you you only have to do 10 push-ups a day and you're just gonna like, you know, lose a bunch of weight or put on a bunch of like mass, but it's just not enough work. And by the way, are the push-ups that you're doing, are the quality push-ups or are you like doing the real thing? You know, most people don't even know how to do a real push-up. Brandon, you know how to do a real push-up? Yeah, man. Can you give me one real quick for, the, for YouTube? You want a YouTube push-up? Dude, give me a YouTube push-up, man. Oh, man. Show these boys how it's done. I want a proper one, dude. If it's improper, I gotta edit you out. That looked pretty authentic, pretty official. That's I wouldn't expect proper. anything less from a sales domination system rep. Great job, Brandon. Let's see if Carson can do a real push-up. See if he can do it one hand. Carson, can you even do a push-up, bro? Uh, Just looking at your arms. Probably not. These arms are, they're, they're a little scrawny, dude. <laughs> what, what are you on a, what, what are you doing, dude? I, I, I don't do push-ups, actually. It's not <laughs> a thing. It's because he can't. Yeah, because he can't. <laughs> Only people you that want me to do a push up. I, I, I need a push up from you. Me, dude. Push -up yeah, we're trying to get the energy up in the office. That's why I whipped out the camera and I'm talking real fast. All right, I'm trying to go. give YouTube some some quality content. This is Carson. Carson is going to do a quality push up. Because, like I was talking about earlier, how do you know if the push ups that you're doing are actually quality? Are you going all the way to the ground, Carson? Let's see it. What you got for me? Let's go. See, folks, all the way down all the way up. That is one quality push-up. Great job, Carson. Phenomenal work. Carson, get back on the phones. <laughs> whale we're whale hunting. So, this is what we're doing. It's Thursday afternoon, probably like 5.15. I will say this. 5.46. I will say this. 
is in the last YouTube video that I dropped, and by the way, this isn't level, this does not make for quality content. In the last YouTube video uh, that I published actually at like noon today, I mentioned that we had our first $1,000 uh, recurring revenue day here at Sales Domination System, which was awesome. And it took us close to three months to actually make that happen. Everything else was either, you know, small deals below a thousand bucks. And finally, like two weeks ago, we hit our first thousand dollar day. Well, I'll have you know that we did it again today and we did more revenue than our record day. So today was actually a record day here at Sales Domination System. I closed the biggest deal, of course. No big deal. But really at the end of the day, we're growing, but we're growing slowly, which is okay because it doesn't really matter how fast you're going as long as you are getting along. You can create more speed, more momentum with, you know, more videos, more phone calls, more outbound actual content, whether it's a voicemail, an email, an interaction, a business card, it doesn't really matter. What you put out into the world is really really an indicator of what you're going to get back. So if you're not working your ass off, if you're not putting in the hours, you're not putting in the time, you're not getting your message out there, you're not getting your brand out there, you're not getting your logo out there, you're not making phone calls, you're not tweeting about it, texting about it. If you're not doing the actual work and boiling the water, how on earth are you gonna cook anything? That would be my question. So that's what we're doing over here at Sales Domination System is we're changing lives. And most importantly, we're making sales great again. Sales, it used to be bomb, according to my dad, because he did sales for like 27 years before I was even alive. And he told me how great it was. I mean, imagine back in the day, you didn't have to do notes into your CRM because there wasn't one. You didn't have to, you know, text people. You just picked up the phone and they were like, man, I want to talk to you because there was no other way of getting information. Imagine a day, uh, days and days and years and years ago where literally there was no internet. If you wanted to get information on a product, you know, you would have to fly into somebody's city, show up into their office and give them a presentation. And that was the only way that somebody could get information regarding your product or your service. And it, I'm sure that it was a gas, right? You get out, you go travel, you're in front of people, you're doing your thing. These days, huh, I mean like, there's so much noise now. You've got Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. You've got so much like information just going out there and like people do not have to look very hard for information, which brings me to my final point here on this YouTube video, which by the way, isn't a whole lot of editing. I'm going kind of quick and I'm obviously, uh, I'm obviously on one. The final point that I'd like to make for any of you out there on, in sales is if your customer decides to spend even five minutes with you on the phone or over a, a Zoom conference meeting or a video conference or a screen share or anything, they are really interested in your product. If they weren't, they wouldn't spend the time on it because there's a million other ways to get the information that you need. If you sell cell phones at a Verizon, AT&T, Sprint store, whatever, I can buy this phone from any one of the carriers without having to talk to anybody. I just go online and I can purchase it, they ship it over, it gets activated and boom, I have a phone. You can literally purchase just about anything these days without actually having to deal with a salesperson. Which, by the way, last statistic, 72% of all B2B executives, I'm talking about C-level executives, VP executives, people that are making decisions on, on, uh, on doing deals, they agree that salespeople are actually a hindrance in the sales process. That's because they don't know what they're doing. They're not trained, they, they, they don't do anything right with their technology. So really at the end of the day, what we're doing is we're making sales great again. We're making it entertaining, we're making it sexy, we're making it fun, and we're making it more effective and more efficient than what you're used to. So I'm just saying, man, we're onto something over here. Obviously, I'm excited about it. Obviously, you should be excited about it because that's what we're doing over here, making sales great again. Let's see what Brandon's doing real quick. Brandon, what are you doing? Is that me? That's you, On YouTube? Yeah. Wow. I haven't seen one of these in a month. I know, it's been a while. But I'm back now, baby, I'm back. So YouTube, that's it for today. I have to get back on the phones. I gotta edit this video, even though I don't think that there's gonna be a whole lot of editing in it. This was made in probably 15 minutes or so. And I'm gonna get back to work because you can't grow anything if you don't work. You have to put in the work, you have to put in the time. 
to get the skills, baby, to get the skills, to get the growth. Anyway, that's it for me. Got a little sun coming in here. And uh, yeah, Jordan Stupar, Sales Domination System, signing off. Until next time, y'all, peace. By the way, one last, one last, totally, this has no value whatsoever, but I will say that the boys and I, we filled out our brackets for March Madness for College Hoops. I have not watched one College Hoops game in probably three, four years, because I've been busy building, uh, building my empire, that's Word to Hustle Shirt Club. But these guys, they've been watching college hoops. And they're like, we're all filling out our brackets, right? They're like, man, Jordan, you're gonna be way off. Truth is, is I'm kicking their ass right now on the brackets. It's amazing. Carson, I'm whooping your ass in the bracket, dude. And I'm uneducated, I have no idea what I'm doing. I even had, uh, where's my bracket? I even had Wisconsin winning it all like I do every year. <laughs> and they lost in the first round. And I'm still whooping y'all's ass.